Hey, welcome good day, everybody. This is Sports Time News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick preview to our Philadelphia 76ers as they try to finally, finally, finally close out the series against the Toronto Raptors so they don't have the fear struck fans going to Game 7 thinking they could be the first team in NBA history to blow a 3 0 lead. So, this is a big game for the Sixers because I had Roto Rob. On yesterday, that was from Roto World, NBC Sports, um, all that. It was a joy to have him on because I read him uh, growing up, so he was a great guest to have on, and he brought insight on this. I'll link that video at the end that's on overall Philly Sports minus um, the Eagles since <clears throat> we just didn't have the time, and he's not as big of an NFL guy compared to the other three, so we focused on the other three. But anyway, when it comes to this series, uh, in the first two games, Toby was the more aggressive than you've seen him even in most moments of the regular season, which was a joy to see because when you you're, then you're able to have other guys kind of just take a step back and then they stepped up the next game where in the first game, obviously uh, Tyrese went off, Toby was good, Joel scored 19 and just did his thing with a double-double. In the second game, Joel went ballistic, um, Tyrese was still good, Toby was still more aggressive, Harden was kind of uh, in the background. And then in the third game, of course, Joel made that perfect spin around, which we found out was with a busted thumb, too. So that's the big thing. That's why I lead ending with the busted thumb from the first three, because it looks like Joel, because he knows he has the Tyrese's, the Thigh Bulls, and the, uh, not the Thigh Bulls, the Tyrese Maxis, the Hardens, and the Maxis on the team. He's trying to not overexert so he doesn't injure himself further for the future rounds, but you got to now just say, well, if there's a will, there's a way, and the will is going through me no matter what. Because Harden, for some reason, and Joel even said it in his quote, needs to be more aggressive. And he's kind of said in his quote that he's been saying that all along to James. So what's going on there? I understand you have a lot of good cats to pass to on this team in Joel Embiid, in Tyrese Maxey when he's on. And if uh, Tobias is, like he did the first two games, shooting it at a little bit more of an amped shots up level because percentage wise minus one game in the series he's been fine but your shooting percentage is one thing if you're shooting well you should shoot it more even though you're not the guy we envisioned doing that going in because you're a secondary scorer obviously no crap but if you're the guy that's making it that day you got to get more shots up because that's just the way it is that's just the way it should go because James Harden hasn't he just hasn't been good uh, he's been kind of a background player in this series and they're going to need him to be good in this game. That's my number one key. James Harden's going to actually at least have to be good in this game and not a background, small Ben Simmons-esque double-double, uh, as much as I hate to say it, background player. And then you're going to need Joel Embiid to step up and and uh, actually be the Joel Embiid we know he can be because I think, yes, he's playing through the thumb, but I think, like I said, he's trying to just take a step back so he didn't screw himself over more for the future, and now he realizes he can't do that because he played through a busted back, like a messed up back before and still dropped 37 points. So I expect him to come out like a bat out of hell tonight. I expect Harden to look better, but hopefully he looks actually good because that's a big key and not just better than being at one of those kind of in the background double double, like 13 and 12 guys. But um, I think this is a game. That is literally pivotal. I don't think the Sixers, honestly, are going to win the series if they lose this game because you went up 3-0, had a great first three games just to suck for the next three if that's the case. So you got to win this game. you got to close in Toronto, have more off days, and then you're going to go to playing one of the tougher teams. And I'm not just saying in terms of the, the players they have on the team, but in terms of literally physical toughness, one of the tougher teams in the league in the Miami Heat. So it's going to be interesting to see. This is an important game. This is a must win. The Sixers have to have Joel Embiid just say, even though I have an interest, I'm screw it. I got to take this upon myself. Hopefully Maxie, but he's a younger player, so I don't blame Maxie for falling by the wayside. I think Mikey Miss was definitely too harsh on him. But, like, you have to know that a young guy is still growing. It's his second full year in the league. His first full, basically, starting playoffs. And he's not going to be perfect. But guys like Harden, you expect to have more of an alpha door mentality. And if Tobias is shooting well, you expect as a veteran for him to realize, even though he's a secondary scorer, maybe I should shoot it a little bit more. And those things, other than the first two games for Tobias, he was very good in the first two, have not necessarily happened where Harden was in the background in all of the games this far. So in game six, those are my keys to the game. This has been the latest Sports Night News Sixers show as we preview game six against Toronto as the Sixers need to close it out tonight. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.